this is the best exercise you can do to get rid of your love handles. And this exercise is not that hard. And as a matter of fact, this is the easiest, most effective love handle exercise that you'll ever do to get a much smaller waist. Just take a look at me. All you're doing is twisting or rotating your waist and hips while placing a playing card or one of the chairs behind you. So all you need to get a good love handle work at a home is three chairs and a deck of cards. But before you give this love handle exercise a try, I want you to use these five tips for a better love handle workout. Tip number one, there's only five parts of your body that should be moving when you do this exercise. First your waist, then your hips, knees, feet, and then your arm holding the playing card all in that order. And right now, I want you to follow along with me in your chair so you can get a better idea of how to do this exercise properly for the best results. The first and most important thing you want to do is you always want to start off by only rotating your waist or midsection first while keeping the rest of your body still. And then as you rotate your waist, you're going to then rotate your hips while still rotating your waist at the same time. Then after that, you're going to rotate or bend your knee area while you're still rotating your waist and hips. Then you're going to start to rotate or pivot your feet. And then you're going to keep rotating your waist, hips, knees and feet as far as you possibly can. And at this point, you should really start to feel it in your obliques or in your love handles. And then finally, after you can't possibly rotate your waist, hips, knees and feet anymore, you're going to reach, extend or stretch out as much as you can with your arm to not only place the card on the chair behind you, but to also make you rotate a little bit more at the waist for a better love handle workout. Okay, let's go through the five parts again. First you rotate your waist, then you rotate your hips and waist, then you rotate your knee, hips and waist, then you rotate your feet, knee, hips and waist as far as you possibly can, then at the end, you get your waist, hips, knees, and feet to rotate even more by reaching out more with your arms so you can place the card on the chair behind you. So remember, waist first, then hips, then your knee, then your feet, then finally, you reach and extend your arm a little more to get that extra rotation or twist out of your waist, hips, knees, and feet. Tip number two, pause in the middle. After you place a card on the chair behind you, and before you go back and do the same thing on the other side, you want to pause briefly in the middle. And the reason why you want to do that is to prevent you from going too fast because if you go too fast without pausing in the middle, you may accidentally move other parts of your body that need to be still, like your head for example. Or you may go out of order and start to, re and start to reach with your arms before you rotate your waist, hips, knees, and feet. So take your time with this exercise, pause in the middle, and get a much better love handle workout. Tip number three, don't move your head or neck. Don't do it like this. Don't move your head in order to look at the chair behind you. And don't move your arms before you start rotating your waist, hips, knees, and feet. As you can see here, I'm not gonna get a great love handle workout because I'm not rotating very much at the waist. And instead of rotating just with my waist, hips, knee, and feet, I'm moving other parts of my body, leaving my love handles or waist almost completely out of the entire workout. Do it the right way and keep your head and neck still. And when you do it the right way, your head and neck will move without any effort on your part as you rotate your waist, hips, knee, and feet. As you can clearly see here on the right, I'm keeping my head and neck still and I'm relying on the twisting motions from my waist, hip, knee, and feet to get my eyes and head to a point where I can see the chairs behind me. Tip number four, how to feel it more in your love handles or what to do when this exercise gets too easy. There's four things you can do if this exercise gets too easy for you. One, you can put the chairs further back behind you. This will force you to rotate your waist more. You can put your chairs closer together, also forcing you to rotate more. You 
can use one chair. Again, this also forces you to rotate more. You can place the playing cards on the opposite chair. So for example, if you're rotating to the left with the playing card in your right hand, you'll place the card on the chair to your right instead of the chair on your left. Basically, to make this work out harder when it gets too easy for you, is you want to put the chairs in a position that's going to make you rotate your waist even more. Tip number five, what to do if this exercise is too hard for you. You can use a rotating office chair, You can place the chairs closer to you. You can place the chairs farther apart. You can place the chairs right beside you or a combination of all those things. So to make this exercise easier, you will position the chairs in a way that does not make you rotate your waist as much. But remember, if you're not getting a good love handle workout, stop and reposition your chairs in a way that gets you to rotate your waist, hips, knees, and feet in a way where you can really feel your love handles or obliques working. Okay, this is how you can add this exercise to your workout routine. There's 52 cards in a deck of cards, so you do each side 26 times, so start off doing about one or two sets where you go through the whole deck of cards for one set. Then after you do a set, you really don't need a break, but if you have to take one, make it no longer than two minutes. And as it gets easier, do more and more sets, or better yet, make the exercise tougher each time you do it by putting the chairs further back, close together, and or using one chair. And do this workout two to four days a week, one to three times per day for one to four sets. Okay, one last thing. I have to be honest with you. Like I said, this exercise will shrink your waistline, but if you truly want to get rid of your left handles and belly fat, you can't spot reduce. So although this is a great exercise for helping you get rid of your love handles, you will still have to use diet and exercise, whether it's cardio or intervals, and I highly recommend high intensity intervals for the fastest results. So overall, yes, include this exercise in your plans to reduce belly fat, but 90% or more of the belly fat battle was won with proper diet and exercise like cardio or high intensity intervals. So there you have it. Next time you're at a party, you can impress everybody with this magic card trick that will make your love handles disappear.